Hey everybody, uh, this is your buddy Tim, and uh, we are on our way to church right now, right kids? Yeah, yeah. And just the big kids and dad are going to church today because we're having car problems with our bigger vehicle. I can't fit my whole family into my car, so uh, I'm just taking the big kids, and uh, Amber's staying at home with the babies this Sunday. I just... Uh-huh, we're gonna go worship Jesus, right guys? Yep, yeah! And, uh... And that's the thing, you guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to encourage any of my subscribers that are not involved in a church. Uh, I think you ought to go out there and get involved in a church. Now, me, for the longest time since being a Christian, I've struggled with church because um, I have a personal, uh, you know, I, I mean, I just try to maintain a biblical theology and doctrine, you know, in, the, in my worldview. Um, but for a lot of truthers, for lack of a better word, and people like us, you know, um, that kind of congregate to channels like Fallen World Films on YouTube. It can be hard to find a community in, in a local church that it's filled with people that know the same kind of stuff, you know. And understanding the world like we understand it definitely has a huge influence on how we perceive uh, the scriptures, you know, and, and our calling from God. Um, so, you know, I was hopping around churches for a while, kind of looking to find something closer to, you know, like a Charles Lawson, Pastor Charles Lawson, who who is the pastor of a church called Temple Baptist um, in Tennessee somewhere. And I actually visited his church before, you know, but I, I was looking for different churches that would affirm, you know, my outlook and some of this New World Order stuff and the, you know, implications that that has on, you know, the world and on uh, our Christian faith. And I wasn't, I, at, for the longest time, I felt like I wasn't able to find that, right? So I stopped really going to church and I tried out different churches. And to make a long story short, now we are going into our, you know, I don't know, it must have been like four or five years now that uh, Amber and I have been consistently attending the church that we're going to now, although we're not members. And, um, and although we, we probably will become members at some point. And the reason that I've been apprehensive to become a member is because of those very differences that I was just addressing, right? But I've been in prayer about it, and I've talked to uh, other Christians and people that are have been saved for longer than me and have more wisdom than I do. And they told me, numerous people have told me something that really makes sense, which is that you don't look for a church uh, that that is just gonna going to feed you, but like you're part of the body of Christ, right? So perhaps if you can't find a church that... Um, you know, is preaching any of the same things that you feel convicted about or any of this type of stuff, then maybe that's what you should be bringing to the church, right? Now, I don't preach in front of my church. I'm not qualified to preach in front of my church. Uh, the pastors that do preach at my church are very qualified to do so, and we all learn a lot under their preaching. But I, in my hypocrisy, thinking that nobody understands, I was totally wrong, because we've been going to this church now for a while, and not only have I garnered you guys some respect from this channel from fellow congregants but even the pastor um even the main pastor at my church has been real supportive of what we do at fallen world films and as it turns out you know what i have uh qu quiet you guys amber and i through the channel we actually have been able to have an influence on uh on our church a positive influence we have been able to share some of these things that god's doing in our life and some of the convictions that god's put on our heart regarding this type of stuff, you know, that we discuss on this channel. And so God's using us at our church. God's using the church for us, you know, and we're part of this body, right? And I feel like I should be able to walk into any church that has a cross on it that represents, you know, faith in Jesus and uh, and have like a universal membership. That's kind of my attitude. But listen, I'm just sitting here ranting your ears off. That's not the point of this. This is the point is the point of this video is just to encourage you guys find a church to get involved with if you don't agree with everything that that church uh stands for then you know you're just a christian you're just you're just another brother submit yourself humble yourself sit under the preaching and teaching of some of these more qualified and mature christians and if you really feel convicted about something that's not being addressed at church be in prayer about it and start talking to people about it god wants to use you too god wants to use all of us to uh to help each other grow it's iron sharpening iron okay um so this is just an encouragement for any of you that have kind of fallen out of the church cycle to start going again because at the very end of the day and i get it yeah sunday is not the actual sabbath and sunday is the sun worship day and this and that you come come you can come up with a million excuses why it's okay for you to uh not be attending church but at the end of the day we are called to congregate we're called to be in communion and fellowship with one another and we're called to be under the the leadership of you know 
pastors and, and more mature Christians that have more wisdom so that they can lead us in this faith and guide us with the word. So it's biblical. You need to be involved in church. And at the very least, if you can't find a church that you just love, I really do believe that God uh, has an appreciation for the very effort of getting up on Sunday morning when you could sleep in, you know, it's your weekend, it's a day that you don't work, and if you take the time, you get up, you put on your nice clothes, you get the family together, you drive out, and you just show a little respect to God. You know, you sit there for a couple hours, you pray, you sing songs, and you listen to the word. Um, and if nothing else, you know, at least you're making an effort and you're, you're putting a, a gesture out there of obedience and submission to God. So it's a good place to start. Uh, I've really grown a lot since we've been going to church more faithfully. And uh, I hope that you guys, uh, I hope that this speaks to somebody, somebody that's on the fence that uh, maybe next Sunday you'll, you'll hit up a church again. And yeah, guys, we got to be going to church because we are approaching the end here. The world's getting crazy and we need to be unified. OK, the church is time for us to be unified. Uh, we can't do this alone, you guys. We are a body. So just want to share that with you guys. Hope you have a blessed Sunday. We love you. Say bye, kids. Bye. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> make sure Le Levi's saying make sure to subscribe. He's absolutely right. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Right, Levi? Yep. All right. Love you guys. Bye.